Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So in this video, we're going to focus on j5 by 2 and j minus 5 by 2x. So like in the previous video, where we found j3 by 2 and I hope you worked out j minus 3 by 2x also. So we're going to proceed in the same fashion. So I will derive j5 by 2, but your homework will be j minus 5 by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 3 by 2 in the first equation because 3 by 2 plus 1 will be 5 by 2 because 3 by 2 is 1.5, 1 1.5 plus 1 will be 2.5 that is 5 by 2. So into equation 1. Okay, so what we have is d by dx of, tell me what is x power minus 3 by 2. In the last video we discussed about uh, x power 3 by 2, x power minus 3 by 2. So if you didn't watch it, please go and check it there. I am going to write the value directly. 1 by x root x. And this will become j 3 by 2x, right? And j 3 by 2x we derived in the last equation, but it will be better if you keep it in your memory. So I am going to use that. That is root 2 by root pi into root x. I am going to split everything because I know this x and x will get multiplied. And uh, we get sin x minus x into cos x, the whole divided by x is equal to minus, again we have x to the power minus 3 by 2, so that will be 1 by x root x. And of course our hero, 3 by 2 plus 1, that will be 5 by 2 x. So we are almost the only thing is we have to differentiate. So just like before I am going to take this root 2 by root pi outside. So we get root 2 by root pi and d by dx of. So x into root x into root x into x. So it's going to be um, sin x minus x cos x whole divided by x times x will be x square x cube will come here is equal to minus 1 by x root x into j 5 by 2 x okay now I'm going to extract our j 5 by 2 so I get j 5 by 2 x is equal to minus root 2 by root pi and this x root x will go to this place so we have x into root x and let's start with differentiation. Differentiation is, uh, looks a little bit difficult, but uh, you have to focus, that's all. So we are going to use quotient rule. So denominator, and now I want you to differentiate the numerator. Okay, what's the derivative of sin x? Cos x. Minus, are you able to see product rule? So what we get is x into minus sin x plus cos x into 1. So once more, let me make it very clear. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus, now I am going to write the numerator, into derivative of the denominator, 3x square the whole divided by x to the power 6. Look at this, there are other ways to find j 5 by 2, but if you are good in differentiation, I will strongly suggest this is the easiest method, because we are almost near the answer. And don't forget the trick in j 1 by 2, j 3 by 2, j 5 by 2, everywhere we will create uh, like what you call a root x by root x, so that we get that pattern and the numerator will be x. So we end up with minus root 2 by root pi into root x. So cos x and this minus cos x. So we are almost there. So x cube and inside the bracket we have x into sin x. And we will distribute this 
so we get minus 3 x squared into sin x and plus 3 x cube into cos x whole divided by x to the power 6 and of course this x into root x into root x this x square is waiting outside so this x cube because this x cube is only for the first bracket so it should be like this anyway this will get cancelled so we get x power 4 so minus root 2 by root pi into x this will give you x power 4 sin x minus 3 x squared sin x plus 3 x cube cos x you can divide throughout by x power 4 and you can take this negative inside so we get root under 2 by pi x one very very important thing watching this video will give you a rough idea how to solve it but if you want marks in exam, if you want to be confident in exam, you have to practice these problems at least two, three times. So this will be divided by x squared. This will be divided by x. So we end up with, and now when this minus goes inside, what happens? This, this quantity will become positive. So 3 sin x by x squared minus sin x minus 3 cos x by x so that's it now most probably they will ask you to prove that this is equal to something something so just manipulate a little bit because you can see the sin x is common right so if you take sin x common we will get 3 by x squared minus 1 into sin x minus 3 by x into cos x. Maybe you may have to take LCM. Anyway, that's not a big deal. So that's it. So your job is j minus 5 by 2x. Okay. So I'll be back with a few more problems in... Bessel equation. So till then, my friends, bye.